You've probably heard that the Sumerian number system was base 60, also known as sexagesimal. But that's a little misleading, and the truth is far weirder. Take a look at the cuneiform symbols for 1 through 59. You'll notice they had just two symbols, 1 and 10, and they formed all other numbers with clusters of 1s and 10s. Obviously, this looks a lot like decimal. The most basic grouping here is 10, not 60. Now, it's true once we get to 60, a new symbol is introduced, and it looks like this. It was really just a larger version of the 1, which, yes, could cause some confusion. So if you wanted to write, say, the number 83, you'd do it like this. 160, two tens, and three ones. Which, yes, does seem kind of like base 60. But their next larger symbol stood for 600, or 10 sixties. That's another multiple of 10. In fact, the symbol was just a 60 and a 10 smooshed together like this. And the next larger symbol stood for 3,600 which is six six hundreds, and it looked like this. Okay, so what's really going on here? It seems confusing, but there is a pattern. In a base 10 system, you always form each larger grouping or order of magnitude by multiplying by 10. Start with one, times 10 is 10, times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000, and so on. But in Sumerian, they alternated between six and 10 to create higher orders of magnitude. So start with one, times 10 is 10, times six is 60, times 10 is 600, times six is 3,600. And it goes on this way. They also had symbols for 36,000, that's 10 times 3,600, and 216,000, that's six times 36,000. So it turns out the Sumerian base 60 system really had two bases, 6 and 10. And only by taking two orders of magnitude at a time like this can we consider it a base 60 system. And that's basically what happened when a later civilization inherited the system and made some renovations that arguably turned it into a fully sexagesimal system. But I should go ahead and wrap up this video now. I don't want to babble on.